What is weight gain? Weight gain is excess calories mixed with high insulin. People have just been talking about the calorie part and they just say, cut your calories and then you'll be fine. But you literally cannot burn fat if your insulin is high. So you have fat cells and they're similar to a water balloon, but the water balloon don't want to burst, right? So insulin is telling your body, we need to use this excess energy, these excess calories, this excess glucose as fat because it can't be in the bloodstream. So store it as fat. Now you're storing it as fat. The water balloon and the fat cell is getting bigger and bigger. It don't want to burst. So then it's going to be like, you know what, insulin? Fuck you and everything you're talking about. We not going to listen to you no more. That's called insulin resistance. When your cells are insulin resistant, the body still is sending out more insulin, folks, because it's like, what the fuck is going on? We must need more of it. There must be too little of it because the cells are not listening to the insulin, right? But when you have high insulin, you are not able to burn fat. You literally cannot do it. It's impossible to burn fat with high insulin. So if you can cut as many calories as you want, but you're not going to burn the fat still. And like after two or three weeks, you're just going to get more hungry, folks. And then you're just going to relapse. That's what usually happens when people just do a straight calorie deficit. And you have a calorie deficit, there's something called metabolic adaptation, which means that your body is going to just start burning less calories when you're taking in less calories. Eventually, you're just going to plateau. Like in the beginning, the first week, you might lose five pounds or whatever. But then after that, your body's like, we can't keep burning all of these calories because we don't have enough. So then it just burns less calories. Then you're just less likely to want to work out. You're just less likely to want to move because your body doesn't want to burn these calories. So insulin sensitivity is going to be a way more sustainable way to actually lose the weight and a way that doesn't stress out the body for real. Like if you're in a calorie deficit, you're not going to be really doing too much, especially if your insulin is still high. All of that energy is still not going to be burned. So if we have a low sugar, low refined carb diet, we are going to lower our insulin, high protein, no processed foods.